Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and I deleted my old video on this because, boy, is there a controversy on this. Between Compria Burton and you guys in my comment section, one of y'all is lying about these. And I have extremely strong evidence both ways. So, Compi, as she goes by, tweeted out this picture saying, Thank you at MTG Secret Lair for the preview of this stunning Art Deco Secret Lair ahead of New Capenna. And then replied with, Whoever designed these did an amazing job. The foil almost makes it look like real gold. And that's it. Now, I posted a video about this, like, oh my god, another secret layer, are you kidding me? Wow, this is ridiculous, the game's going down the toilet, etc., etc. Then, about ten of you in the comment section said, well, her name on Twitter is Compi Proxy Princess, and, and you guys said, oh, she runs an Etsy store, these are fake, she made them herself, and she's just trying to drum up, you know, drama and fake attention for her, her Etsy store. Thus the name Proxy Princess. But a lot of you said, oh, in her post she said that these are fake. Well, she absolutely did not. Now, they all have her name on the bottom, obviously, so obviously the, the joke is that she made them. It's just, did she make them for Wizards? Now, on, on the other side of things, she wrote an entire article for Wizards before. Her name is on it. So that's a ballsy move to be like, these were totally sent to me and I designed them for Wizards, wink, wink. Because, uh, Girl, you ain't gonna work for them ever again. You out there selling counterfeits and calling it a fake secret lair as a joke? Yeah, good luck with that. So I don't know which is true because what you guys said I can't find any evidence of and what she said I can't find any clear evidence of. Because the problem is these cards don't say secret lair on the bottom or have a number in any way. They don't have a card number. And that's like rule number one is you gotta throw it on there somewhere. And now this would be about the time to sell it. Um, it's the Art Deco style, which is, you know, New Capenna, which is going to come out in probably like April 2022, which is probably right around when you would get these in the mail. Hate to be pessimistic, but I'm realistic. And as far as I could tell, nobody in her short Twitter thread said anything about these are fake and you're a bitch. So I did more digging and eventually I did come across her admitting that they're not real. So um, they look good, congratulations, and um, have fun adding another mental illness to your bio after Wizard sues you. I don't think that they find haha -ha funny joke pranks like this very haha -ha funny. So uh, I am looking forward to the totally real one, um, Secret Lair Shitbox Edition uh, featuring the Ford Aerostar. That has been confirmed completely real, and I am going to order 69 of them. So anyway, wanted to clear that up because everybody's going to be like, where'd your video go? Yeah, if it's that drastically wrong and I look like that much of an idiot, I'm going to delete it. But um, in my defense, she worked for Wizards and I did that as research and I was like, well, good enough. And it was like four in the morning. I didn't notice it didn't have a damn number. So, um, but anyway, uh, counterfeiters and proxiers are assholes, but at least she's not some Chinese billionaire. Unless she is and that's a fake picture. Also, somebody said she's actually a man. At this point, I don't even know what to believe. Y'all, I've got a Packer game to watch, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.